He's in there again. Snap a photo. Take his picture. Make sure you get his good side. Try to get a try to get a photo. Close the bathroom door. Maybe he just wants privacy. Yeah. Let the man poop in peace. Alright, let's go. Or whatever you may it. be doing. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Shame what do you hate it? Hello everyone and welcome to my video on how to use the photo camera. I'm not going to cover how to use the photo camera because it's basically just point and click, but I am going to cover how you can use it more effectively so that you get more money and more experience for every single one of your hunts. The photo camera is the best way to make money in the game. I always bring three cameras. If you want to increase your money and you'd like to increase your XP, then you should always bring three photo cameras as well. A couple of odd things about the photo camera is that sometimes the photos that appear in your book are not the same photos that your teammates are going to see in their book. I'm not sure why this is, but occasionally there is some variance between your photos and their photos. Another odd fact is that the photo camera is anti-selfie. You cannot take a photo of yourself. Even if you manage to take a group photo, you will always be invisible in the photo. Every time you take a photo, there's a chance you'll get paid, so you should probably know which things you should take photos of and which things you should likely skip. By now you've probably discovered that sometimes you can find bones. If you take a photo of the bone, before you collect it, you'll get paid for that photo. If your ghost leaves fingerprints, snap a photo of that as well. Sometimes fingerprints will show up in your book as interactions, rather than fingerprints. Likely the easiest thing for you to take a photo of is interactions with the ghost. Anytime the ghost rings a phone, you should take a photo of it. If a ghost throws a plate or a can, you should take a photo of that as well. Anytime the ghost interacts with an object, you should take a photo of it. Chances are, you'll get paid. If you're unfortunate enough to lose a teammate on your hunt, make sure you snap a photo of their body. You'll get paid for that photo as well. Likely the more obvious photos you should be taking are photos of the ghost and of dirty water. These are often objectives, so many of you probably already know that you should take photos of those whenever you see them, even if they're not an objective. If you find a Ouija board, make sure you take a photo of it as well. Keep in mind that if someone touches the Ouija board before you take the photo, it will not count. This is true for all interactions. If your ghost hunt is in one of the farmhouses, then you're in luck. Farmhouses have voodoo dolls, and voodoo dolls count as interactions. So make sure you take a photo of every voodoo doll. Likely the most obscure thing that you can take a photo of is the bloody cleaver that spawns in some of the farmhouses. It is a random spawn, and it does count as an interaction. So if you find the bloody cleaver, you should snap a photo of it. I did try to replicate this with other weapons that I found in some of the homes, but none of them counted. If you happen to find something that does count, leave me a comment below and let me know. I have heard that you can take photos of the EMF when it's at level 5 and of the ghost writing book and get paid for those. However, that has not been true for me. I also tested out taking photos of the salt piles when they have footprints in them and when you get the green glowing footprints. And sometimes they get paid and sometimes I don't. So footprints is kind of random. In my experience, the easiest way to tell if you're getting paid for a photo is to look in your journal. If a photo is labeled in your journal, chances are you're getting paid for it. If it's not, you're probably not getting paid for it, even if you can see a ghost or dirty water or whatever in the photo. And finally, some of you may want to save your photos that you take with your photo camera. One of my teammates is a professional photographer, and he wanted to see the photos that he took after each game. These photos are actually saved on your computer. They are overwritten every game though, so if you would like to save a photo from a game, you'll need to get it immediately after that game. For most of you, these files can be found on your main hard drive, under your program files, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Phasmophobia. They are labeled saved screen zero, saved screen one, and so on. Remember, you do have to save them after every game if you would like to keep any of these photos. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Happy hunting.